friends, it's Maggie, and welcome back to Maggie Reads. And today we're reading, Noni the Pony Goes to the Beach. Puzzles, ham radio, storm chasing, sure. But I also love New York City and all things Broadway. Singing, yep. Stage dooring, maybe we've met. Here's my dog, Rachel, and cat, Bailey. And let's not forget my baby brother, Elliot. I love school, especially reading, and I'm here to read along with you. Welcome to Maggie Reads. If you enjoyed today's video, click like, subscribe, maybe even share. I'm in my big blue comfy chair, and let's start reading. Noni the Pony is friendly and funny, and loves going down to the beach when it's sunny. With Coco and Dave in the lady next door, she slides down the sand dunes and onto the shore. They frolic and splash as the waves tumble by, scattering seagulls into the sky. Dave dives like an arrow into the sea as dolphins go dancing one, two, and three. Coco the cat doesn't like getting wet, so she has a snooze in an old fishing net. The ladies next door go up to their knees, then run to drip dry in the soft summer breeze. Instead of a castle, the friends build a boat and Dave sets to work on a circular remote. When they peer into the tide pool the, at one lonely snail, Coco almost gets nipped at her tail. Far out to sea, a whale blows her spout. Dave goes to look, but he swims too far out. So Noni the Pony, faithful and brave, wades through the swells and rescues poor Dave. Then the friends head home, up the road from the bay. Happy and tired from their wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed me reading, Noni the Pony Goes to the Beach. Join me next time and I read, shh, bear sleeping. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd love to know about it. Click like, subscribe, maybe even share. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Maggie Grace TV for fun behind the scenes photos. See you next time, friends.